Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is here. Okay. It's now. It is here. It's the here and now. The day has arrived where today is now. Um, that is the slogan of today's episode. Uh, not by choice. <laughs> um, good morning, everybody. Uh, oh, man. It, it has been a long week. Um this week feels like it is just dragged on and on and on, and I'm very excited for the weekend. Uh, any Me any too. fun weekend plans, Junie? Uh, I am going to clean this den I'm in. Uh, it you cannot see because of the illusion that I have created, but it is terrible in here. And uh, I'm going to. It's one of those messes, unfortunately, and I'm not proud of this. That when you walk, you can hear it. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Everybody uh-huh. knows what I mean when it's just like, oh, there's stuff in that room. Yeah, that's yep. that's what's happening. It's a lot of, you had said it before, object permanence, a lot of out of sight, out of mind. I come mm-hmm. in here, do my stream, focus in my fantasy you've, world. You've made, a, you've made and... a room that is a doom box. Sure. Are you familiar with doom boxes? No. no. Uh, doom boxes, people with ADHD have a tendency to like, have, like just kind of take stuff and put it into a box and put it away. Um, and it's gone. It ceases to exist, but that is a box just full of stuff that wasn't sorted out and wasn't put away where it was supposed to go. It's just all been put into a box and put away. Um, I have so many of those. I had to resist. I'm not going to lie to you. The urge to just alt F4, close this tab, close my computer and just walk away and stare into the like the, the sunrise. Just go like you feel called out. No, you know what? No, it is bo- bo- both yes and also like freer, knowing that it's not just me living in mm. this this in this hell. You know, it's just like you're not the only one, bro. Yeah, Although no, that is a a, a universally yeah. Uh, yeah. a universally experienced thing. Um, yeah, it's it's horrible. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is time for Warlocks and Waffles. We are Warlocks and Waffles here to give you the Warlocks and the Waffles. Um, mm-hmm. Did I say Warlocks and Waffles? I think I said it. Good morning. It's the name of the show. It's it is the, name, the, of the m- name of the show. It's why we're all here uh, to do that thing. Uh, if you've seen the show before, you're probably wondering, why are there hearts on the screen blocking part of Hunter and Junie's screen? Uh, and there is an answer for that but I'm not going to give it to you yet. Uh, If you're listening to the podcast version of this show, imagine that there's a screen and there's video of Junie and myself, but part of that video has been blocked by five hearts. Visualize. Um, For those feeling this podcast, I want you to... For those feeling it in their bones. Um, Yes. uh... (laughs) Oh, man. This is going to be a weird one today. Um, I I pitched Junie the idea of doing a uh, Never Have I Ever episode um, where we go back and forth and we try and get each other on, like, I have never done this thing in a TTRPG. Um, the, and immediately after he accepted this, I realized my mistake. 
mm-hmm. because I've done a lot of things. <laughs> I've ran a lot of games, guys. Um, and the moment I started like trying to write down things I hadn't done, it was a very difficult task. <laughs> uh, yeah, I struggled. <laughs> I was right. Uh, you, I was I, not having if, a good time with it. If you didn't know it before, Hunter, like, what was the moment this morning that you also knew? There was a moment that, that you were just like the oh, moment what? I knew. The moment I knew I was screwed uh, was Junie got into the call this morning and goes, "So, how many pages is your document?" And I was like, "Pages," <laughs> and he goes, "Never mind." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so uh, that should be fun. We'll see. Hunter also didn't elaborate on the rules to this game, so I we did not prepared. I prepared for everything. Uh, for for everybody that's joining us live, uh, hello, hello, Hi. hello. You're about to watch Hunter lose dramatically because he done fucked with the wrong one. Uh, I it's literally it's literally I think the first hot take on the document. I I fuck <laughs> I I fucked up by proposing a game that I was already destined to lose. Um so there's that. Um hopefully that doesn't hopefully that doesn't happen. I would really like to win. Um I will be I will be very sad the rest of the day if I lose. Um <laughs> Okay. Uh since since you are working with a handicap because you have done so much, you can go first. But uh, oh. you could also explain the rules to all the people and not just me. Okay. I already know the rules, but, you know, so, you so can tell it to everybody here, else. here are the rules. Um, this is Never Have I Ever. Um, for the rules of Never Have I Ever are very simple. We go back and forth saying something that we have never done in TTRPGs. Um, so it could be uh, something we've never done as a GM, something we've never done as a player, um, something that like we've been GMing a game and a player has never done this in one of our games, anything like that. Um, we're trying to stick to like um, iconic things, tropes, that sort of stuff, things that are um, like relatively uh, um, universal experiences. And the reason for that is, is that we, like, I know a lot about Junie's games, and Junie knows a lot about my games, so we don't want to have a a game of Never Have I Ever where we're like, never have I ever used an egg of distraction. Um, Like, we don't want to have a a game of Never Have I Ever where all of them are specifically targeted to something we know about Mm -hmm. the other person's games. Um, So these are relatively uh, common things. Um... The uh, each of us has five lives um, represented by the hearts that are at the bottom of our screens Um, as we lose lives um, by uh, if one of us says, uh, like, never have I ever done this thing. um, And like, let's say Junie had not done that thing um, or Junie had done that thing. Sorry. Um, If he hadn't done that thing, then uh, he does not lose a life. But if he has done that thing, he loses a life. Um, And so his little heart tracker here will change. Um, and slowly he will lose all of his lives until he is crowned the supreme loser of the game. Um, but hopefully it is a relatively close match, um, because if it's just one of us knocking the other one out completely, yeah, it's the just, content yeah. is much worse. <laughs> Well, I have so many things that we will be proposing it out to the universe as well. So the uh, yes. the people so that have joined us today, home. yeah, um, um, everybody has a drink. Uh, we can all presume what's in this mug. Uh, Hunter has a thing that looks like water. It's not, uh, you know, this this was a oh, bo- that's definitely a bottle. That's not this, it's this was a Baja blast. Uh, this was a Baja blast last night, and then I dumped a Powerade into it. Um, so now. It's a mana potion. Hmm. Thank you for saying it that way. But it's not good. Mm. A hot take. We're still in the beginning of the thing, even though we passed it. Hot takes mana, not mana. Like it's, I don't know. That's, that's, I feel like. Oh, wait, which, which way do you say it? I say mana. Yeah, I say mana as well. Yeah. I feel like I might've said it like flip flop, but like if I had to call the shot, like it's just like mana. Uh, <laughs> I've I've seen people do it the other way. 
Um, the, the chat is, uh, the problem with this show is we have a lot of people who mm-hmm. watch the show who yeah. know specific things to say to get us out. Um, which is another reason that we are sticking to like shared experiences, yeah, universal this is something things. Everybody has done. I never have I ever like rolled this many dice. Like, oh, a lot of people roll three d sixes. I've never had, you know, something dumb like that. Um, so yeah. Um, but I yeah. I do I do need to clarify something because the chat has said. Uh, that mana rhymes with data. Um, and that would be Mata, um, which is incorrect. Um, unless you want to say data. Da- uh, no, data. 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 It, Mata rhymes with data. Um, yes. Consider yourself roasted. Ha ha. Um, good morning. Happy Friday. Um, would you like to go first or would you like me to, Junie? I'll let, I want you to go first. Okay. We will start off strong. Never have I ever ran a module all the way through. Have you ever ran a module from start to finish? Module is not a one shot, like an actual. Correct. I have never. Run really? A module. I, I mean, I. I, hmm. I thought I, I had mean, you on that one. <laughs> No, I have I've done a lot of Candlekeep mysteries. Mm-hmm. I've done countless Icewind Dales, and we've never you never reached the end. The, I've never no. I've the, there's always been like the the big dragon piece, and we've done mm-hmm. it as like a season finale. And for them, that was the end. But for me, knowing that the book ends with the big thing, mm-hmm. no, I've never ran a module all the wow. way to the end. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I Damn. the only the only fifth edition module that I have ever ran um is Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Um okay. and I ran it very very loosely Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Um it was a lot of fun. What I did was I had um uh cuz you know I I run the like living shared world thing. Um so what I did was I had like six different groups who were all uh I put all of them in Waterdeep and they were all like loosely were playing they all triggering the, they were, were they all, all triggering all the playing, events yeah so they were all loosely playing the same uh the the same events of Waterdeep Dragon Heist but they were like I uh, only only one like if a, if an NPC died it's dead for everybody um if a if an event happens it's not going to repeat itself so like there were certain things that like uh, would only happen in one group, um, but I would add other things for them to be able to like find them. Um, but we only ran for like a, a little while. There was there was a point like a couple months into running it where like it was fun and people were enjoying it. But there there was a point where uh, a couple of my groups were like, we got distracted, um, and there are definitely other people who are farther along in this and we have a zero chance of actually winning um so we're gonna go home (laughs) um and then slowly it sort of tinkered off until there was only one group that was still like there doing it um and then that group had to stop playing (laughs) so so they just dropped off and i was like oh well guess dragonized is done back to my regularly scheduled games uh junie Wait, wait, didn't you say you've never finished a Galanto all the way? I haven't. I thought you said you finished one. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. There I was, thought you were there telling was, me that there you was did one, do the there one. Was, okay. That's the only one that I've ran, period. Ran. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay, okay. I've, okay. Never, I've never ran any of the other 5e modules. Okay, okay. For me, it's uh, the only one I've in earnest run was uh, uh, Icewind Dale, and I've... I have Tiamat, I have um, Strahd, and I, you know, all those. But like, I was trying to do it, and I had groups I had faith in that would yeah. do it, and it just never happened. There, right. there was a there yeah. was a period of time where I I got re I towards the end of like COVID kind of was like dying down. It looked like things were going back to normal. Um, I got very confident in the fact that like, oh. Things are going to be going back to normal. I'll be able to start running games in person again. Um, and mm-hmm. so I got really into the um, the Beetle and Grim like uh, 
premium boxes of the oh, different yeah, modules. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've bought those and I have never been able to run any of them. And they sit right over there mm. and stare at me and mock me as they're like, look at us. We're so shiny and pretty and you, you can't do anything donate about it. it. If you want to donate to me every once in a while, I go to libraries and I still hold out the hope that I'm going to uh, <laughs> be doing that. Uh, here's something that uh, we shouldn't be doing for free and uh, shouldn't be doing. And I didn't clear with you, but I, if I may do a personal shout out real fast mm -hmm. uh, on, on LinkedIn, I saw there is um, uh, I'm, I'm 100%. We need to support uh, Randall's uh, Kickstarter uh, little game masters. Uh, and then I guess just that, that, that juiced my feed of uh, like Kickstarters that uh, mm -hmm. people are doing. Um and there is uh, a Kickstarter that 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 speaks to me, and it's a uh, uh, let me see, John 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 Irons. Uh, he does uh, he he does a Son of Oak Game Studios. Mm. They're doing a uh, pop up terrain type of. It, they're flat, and then they kind of like fold and pop up. Oh, that's to, cool. Yeah, like a like so a pop up like, book. I I don't think it's I don't know if it's a book i don't or think more, it's a book more I like think... like papercraft yeah like that's yeah, really like, cool like uh like uh this company that we we have affiliates with and do uh other things with uh kind of similar but it uh they they come up that's so, really like, cool i like that flat, a lot but then you fold them you fold them in a trot in a in a x thing and then they'll have a 3d tree at that point mm -hmm. yeah. um Oh, I so, think I have seen these at your at a convention. That's, Dungeons it's very, Pop very cool. is, is yeah. the thing, but they're they're running a Kickstarter. It's launching next month. I should have asked you. I apologize. I think oh, this it's, is safe. It's fine. We'll <laughs> but, we'll reach out to him and we'll see if we can have him on the show. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I I told him I was like, hey man, I like this kind of thing. But yeah. uh, it's immersive pop up tabletop RPG battle map. Stop doing Ooh, ads. That, that's an elaborate thing. Ooh, <laughs> stop doing sorry. ads. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but like I just because I I when I go places, uh, you were like the beat. I was just like, oh, I would never do that because yeah. I like having like the 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 flat um 1985 games like th mm -hmm. those kinds of things because I so quickly modify it real fast. Well, the Beetle um, and Grimm's maps are also flat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, oh, you're thinking of Dwarven Forge. Um I don't... No no no. Uh, well, I'm just thinking of like I would also never take some so nice somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I think of something like this is dry erase. This is like, you know, and this pop up so it's paper, it's not that <laughs> the rich. Chat you were just, just like nice things. The chat just said never have I ever been distracted by shiny things. Um Whatever, yeah. and I feel personally attacked. Um, also, Davy Jones, I know for a fact that's false. So stop coming at with me with your bullshit. <laughs> okay, you are so consistently you know, distracted by shiny things. So, so for everybody keeping track, I'm gonna add a sound effect right here for the podcast. I lost a heart, so I think uh, I I I lose a point so far because I never did the thing. Is that how that works? No, you you lose you lose a life if you have done the thing um that i uh, that was said oh okay yeah otherwise okay, okay. it'd be real easy to be like never have i ever okay eaten a banana in a game okay and it's like so yeah, i'm, I'm trying to say I. something i know you've done that's you that, are trying to you're trying to do something that i i have done in my game yeah okay uh okay uh i all right um never have i ever uh oh what's i got there's so many here yeah okay for, for those of uh, you listening and playing along at home jimmy yeah. has seven pages of content yes of never have i ever questions i have mm -hmm. under a dozen prompts mm -hmm. that's more that's more than you, you had uh uh before i, I had uh, five I had five I was very confident in at the beginning of the game. You see, there's ones that seem so specific, but because I know you, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that that he's done this. Um, okay. This one, this one I think is common, and it just so happens I've never had this one. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm fairly confident in this one. Never have I ever had a game with a sentient weapon with its own 
goals and motivations. I definitely lose one on that one. Um, I have had so many sentient weapons in my games. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Here's the, here's the thing. No, no, no. I know. With I most, and motivations. I most I've had recently, sentient weapons, yeah. but it's always like I just end up that it's I make a talky weapon. And I'm like, I know it's going to be a one-off or it's just a side character. Mm -hmm. And they're very one-dimensional. And, and just so happens that the ones that I've had in my games are very one-dimensional. They don't have. And I was like, no, the goals and motivations part. That's a, yeah. And you can have a weapon. Oh, yeah. I'm a sword that talks. But does the sword talk and want something? Right. Does the sword actually blank? And I know that's a thing. I know yeah. people have, oh, it's the spirit of a demon that's trapped. Or mm -hmm. I know blank X, Y, Z. So I was like, this is one of those things where it's, it's very specific, but I know a lot of people use it. Yeah, so. I I have a um a sword in uh, actually Davy Jones game. Um, I have a a sword in that game that for a very long time they've been working on freeing it. Um, but it is a uh, a student from the Wizards College who was working on an enchantment project and accidentally trapped himself inside a sword. I feel like you told me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. So he's been stuck in a sword for a long time, and his his motivation is let me not be a sword. <laughs> Didn't you like say like that was something that like a, a side plot that took over because that wasn't like a major thing? And it, it just was kind of became it was thing? supposed to be it was supposed to be a very simple thing. It was supposed to be something where like they were in the city that had the mages college and all the like powerful mages and stuff like that. That's where they found the sword. Um, and I expected it to be this like very simple quest of uh, we're going to take the sword that is a student of this college. We're going to take it to the college in the town we're already in and be like, hey, this is one of your students and they turned themselves into a sword um, and like, they'll take care of it. And instead, they took the sword with them on their adventures and just left. Um, sure. And it was like, over a year and a half of like real world time passed in between them leaving and coming back to like, get him fixed. Damn. Um... <laughs> Davy Jones says incorrect. We have had him in the party for a very long time. We've been trying to help him for a very short period of time. <laughs> um. Oh man. Okay. Right. Uh, Hit me. This one. Okay. Never have I ever had players face a werewolf. You're thinking real hard on this one. Because, you know, what's funny is I use a lot of wear things. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think if I've specifically used a werewolf. Mm -hmm. And I've used were ravens, were rats, were boars, were bears a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying oh, I to love think a if I've. Yeah. Oh, well, a nice one, Dale. There's, there's like the whole thing is like there's like a, a famous legendary were bear. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's like you can have them just be a myth or they can be involved. Uh, and I think I had them get really cool with it. And then one guy tried to 1v1 it. And I was like, I'm just going to have this legendary creature just beat him up. And mm -hmm. it was really like bare knuckle. But anyway, um, holy crap. I don't know if I've ever had Damn it. a werewolf. Hold on, hold on. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to be very fair here. Uh, wolf. I'm going to lose this game. Holy shit. I have in my Spelljammer game mm -hmm. for for laughs. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of the crew, the crew wear like a wear tiger. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I've ever you have anybody has anybody been a werewolf. I will I will say I was very specific in my wording. I've never had my players face a werewolf. They've never fought a werewolf. Um, I have had a werewolf in one of my games. But the players, it was an ally to the players. Yeah, I've never had a werewolf. I've never, never, it just hasn't happened. And I have, a, like, I've been wanting to run Curse of Strahd, and I know that it would happen then, and uh -huh. it just hasn't happened yet. Okay, fine. Your turn. Holy shit. Oh, wow. I know I've got you on the next one. Okay. Um, this is one that is probably, what are you talking about? This mm -hmm. isn't this isn't a thing. I've never had. Oh, that's too that's too specific. 
Uh, I have to change it. Uh, <laughs> I know that they can do this. Mm -hmm. I just never had this happen or somebody do this. But um, as people know, uh, there are times where uh, everybody's like Dungeons and Dragons. You do stuff with Dungeons and or Dragons. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people are like, oh, I never use Dragons, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's not the thing, though. But I know that one thing Dragons can do, and I've seen like in Critical Role and stuff, is that Dragons can take human form. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever had a game where there was a creature in human form that was actually a dragon. Damn you. We've had a conversation on the show about how I like playing dragons to their full potential. This is unfair. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that you made them like, you know, no, no, no. Like, dress it's, up in, it's in totally, totally viable choice. Totally viable choice. Um, yeah, that is a, that is a totally viable thing. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next one. Um, never have I ever played a sorcerer. Okay. Yes. Uh, I have been and have had sorcerers in my game. Yes. I've had sorcerers in my game. I've never played. Never played. One. Yeah. yeah. Uh, n yeah. Feywild was my first sorcerer, um, who I played kind of bardy, uh, but the, uh, the wild magic thing which wild magic it's the most fun if you play a modified version of it and we didn't get to do it but when you do in wild magic it's when you do it you uh you roll if you have to make an attack roll and you make a one then you get like the wild magic trigger um i played my character with a lot of anxiety so i wanted to do it and i've seen people do this where it builds so every time you dodge using wild magic that it it takes up it goes up a bit so you have to keep track of the dc but it's one then it's two then it's three then it's mm -hmm. four and then eventually you're like you're building it's like mob cycle 100 well you don't know what that means uh there's an anime called mob cycle 100 where the kids emotionally like kind of shut in and every time something traumatic or emotional happens the screen cuts to a percentage ticker that goes up and when he gets to 100 he explodes like emotionally and with all this power so it's kind of like you're building until you're gonna go you know uh so yeah no never done uh sorcerer i know other ones have been done like because metamagic is fantastic mm -hmm. it can give you a lot of fun options um but aside from wild magic uh unless there's a story point i don't know i don't get it because that's whenever i i tell people what kind of when i'm like onboarding new players hey do you want to do physical or magic is it from a book, nature, or in your blood? And then the next question is, are you good at it? And if you're not good at it, then I'm like, you're instantly a wild magic sorcerer. Because then it's like, okay, every time when you do magic, sometimes you have a whoopsie. And it's going to be, you're going to turn somebody into a plant or uh, give somebody a feather beard or something like that. So I lost a heart. Uh Okay. Um, okay. That's not even fair. There's a few of these, and I'm just like, that's not even fair. Um, <laughs> well, when you have seven pages of them, you gotta you gotta f work through them. Um, you've been very you to, do, you've been very specific, and I feel like I've been very general. <laughs> uh, well, no, because I've I've heard of I've heard of like. Like it's a big thing for dragons that they can do. Yeah, this. no, so I don't absolutely. Think that was the, I don't think they were crazy, but some of these, you know, are like, yeah, like um, I'm not saying this one, but I'm just gonna throw out some rapid fire ones because uh, uh, there might be some other people that have done this, and uh, once again, you've done too much, but um, uh, something. Oh, I have done this, so I can't say that one. Uh. But a uh, what do you, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just had it. Uh, oh, uh, like I have ma uh, magic items and um, spells. Uh, the one that I've always thought I would have or somehow use or somebody would. Uh, never have I ever used a folding boat. Mm. I've never you know used I mean? one. Yeah, I, like I'm just like yeah, that's something that people are gonna whip out all the time, and I'm mm -hmm. like, it does no. Uh, yeah. Um. Same thing with a, a pole of collapsing. Like all these, like I've made things mm -hmm. 
flavored as that. And then right. I technically shouldn't because it's there is a magic item for it. But the pole collapsing is like just a pole, I think. I don't think it's I don't think it's supposed to be a weapon, but I always make it like Robin from Teen Titans, like a collapsible spear type thing or a bow staff. Uh or I make my javelins kind of do that to to account for like I'm carrying a big old pointy stick. <laughs> it's just like no, it collapses for safety purposes. Um but uh there's some here that I know are very uh I uh never have I ever <laughs> This is long but I feel like this is common enough. Hmm. This this I wonder. Uh Never have I ever uh -huh. run a game. Okay. You got me so far. That is that is the majority political intrigue with a complex plot of like web alliances and betrayals. So it's more mm. like political in sure. nature than I... Than uh, than this story of 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 other things else. I I yeah yeah political intrigue campaigns. Um, I have I have ran games that had political themes to them. Um, mm -hmm. I have never ran a a campaign that was like that was the focus. Um, that does sound like fun though. It, it, I, I have think you have to I be have in ran the mood like for it. I have ran like one shots that were like um figuring that sort of thing out but that then, doesn't then i would think that, then that counts and I, I i would think i would think if, if you've run something with it because i have exclusively not it's like not something that it's not focused. specifically political intrigue though it's like more i would say my stuff is more like murder mystery um mm -hmm. than political intrigue they're like kind of thematically similar um but very distinct in their tone mm. okay i'm gonna say lose half a point then don't don't lose a whole point because that was that was a very sloppily worded um uh sloppily worded prompt well then I, that sounds I, like it's your fault and i don't think i should lose half a heart for you not doing a, a good job of that's asking fair. your question sure sure that's <laughs> fair i i'll take pity on you with your with your only one page <laughs> um let's see here um Never have I ever, um, never have I ever had a player that used a sling as a weapon. I have. I have. I have I've used it myself. Yeah. It's a, it's a very basic one, but I was like, I, yeah. yeah. I looked through like the list of basic equipment and I was like, I have never seen somebody use one. That's um, fair. Yeah. I, I've totally seen people use it. Um, I've flavored it and suggested flavoring, uh, uh, my, one of my favorite cantrips is magic stone mm, because you can, mm -hmm. uh, it's a way of around getting around, uh, non-magical damage things. Cause then you can just like give somebody magical, like I've had people, it's like, Oh, I can't hit it. I don't have a magical item. It's just like, here, take these three magical rocks. Like mm -hmm. you will, you have something to do something with them now. Uh, you know, and it's kind of like a way that somebody can feel a little useful with a cantrip. Um, uh, but yeah, and then I've flavored it. It's like, it'll be a sling throwing it, even though you don't really need it, but I've, I've seen it and done that. So I have mm. done that. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use tridents. Uh, people really I love, love it. I love trident. shoving tridents into things. Yeah, I do too. Uh, but, uh, people really like tridents. <laughs> um, I had uh, a uh, I had a uh, um a Triton character in one of my games um who insisted that he was using an Omnint um which was a one-pronged Triton it was just a spear. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's really good. Um I have a spell that in my brain is my favorite spell and I've never gotten to use it and I've never seen it uh never seen it uh used. Mm. Uh and I so desperately want to see this used. Uh, let me just uh, double check to make sure that this this is not homebrew. I know that this is a real thing. Uh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I never have I ever gotten to use or seen someone use 
the spell, the sixth level spell, Contingency. Ooh. Uh, if you don't know what this is, I so desperately want to be the guy that whips this out. Like, I have to tell the DM and let them know, hey, this is happening, but d- d- we can't tell the players. Choose a spell of fifth level or lower that you can cast that has a casting time of one action that you can target, that, that can target you. You cast a spell called the contingency spell, the contingent spell as part of this spell. You cast the contingency. Extending spell slots for both. Both the contingent spell doesn't come into effect. Instead, it takes effect when a certain circumstance occurs. You describe the circumstance as you cast two spells. For example, a contingency cast with water breathing might stipulate that water breathing comes into effect if you are engulfed in water or similar liquid. Mm. The contingent spell takes effect immediately after the circumstance is met for the time for the first time, whether or not you want it to, and then contingency ends. The contingent spell takes effect only on you, and if you can normally target others, you can uh, only use one contingent spell at a time. If you cast a spell again, the other contingency ends on you, um, but the duration is 10 days. That's an incredible spell. It's a 10-day duration, though. I love that. If you think you're going to die, like, if you've ever like you know done like you know you can do so i remember that oh, I, I was good yeah yeah right yeah uh it was it was there something are some like implications there right uh i remember i i started to do it and it was going to be i was going to use this wrong um because i didn't read it properly the first time but mm-hmm. my contingency spell was going to be something along the lines of, and I, I didn't, I misread it and didn't realize it had to be a like fifth level or lower spell. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, my contingency was going to cast time stop. Mm-hmm. Like if, if I or someone I know immediately around me was going to die, time was going to stop. And mm-hmm. I would just like do the thing where I'd move the bullet and say like, you know, whatever I'd have to do to like get that person. And you can't do that because it's not, it'd be cool if you can like upcast it to mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, like, all right, expel other spell slots, um, which which leads me to my, uh, could you amp up spells by sacrificing other spell slots if they don't give you that option to type of thing? Yeah. Um, but, well, uh, what's what's interesting is theoretically, so this is a uh, contingency is a wizard spell. Um, so you would have to have some way to have this spell and also access to the cleric spell list. Um, but if you did, you could do contingency raise dead of if I die, I don't. Mm. Mm. Yeah, um, this is, this is good. There are some very uh, interesting uses. I, uh, I had never even seen this spell before. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's, that's very interesting. This is, uh, this was what, oh, also the, uh, I love the, that. the components, uh, there are components to this. Mm-hmm. Um, you need a statuette of yourself uh-huh. carved from ivory decorated with the gems worth 1500 gold. It is an expensive spell. It is that, an expensive like, spell. I will say it doesn't say anywhere on there that the uh, that that item is consumed. Um, so you only oh. need you only need one. Um, that is a one time investment in being able to cast that spell. That is interesting. Because that the interesting. Uh, like revivify is like you need a three hundred gold piece diamond yeah. which the spell consumes. This Correct. does not say that. Correct. That is interesting. That is really good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that that is that is that is good. There, um, there was there was another thing I had that I had going with with this, and I don't think it wasn't with time stop. Uh, where was it? Uh, but it was about it was about contingency. Um, the ten dur- ten day duration though, it would almost be like I would just have the 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 DM. I would have like a conversation with the DM every time. Where it's just like every 10 days, I'd be like, I'm always positive or worried about blank. Mm-hmm. I want to make the contingency this. And I'm I'm just always going to have to run the game with negative two spell slots. I'm always going to mm-hmm. run with negative two spell slots just in case this thing happens. But I always want to be prepared for blank. Right. Um, well, 
and you would only you would only have to cast it once. So as long as you had like a down day, you can cast it on the down day, and it's good for the next ten days. No, because it's uh, it says it's used, but does it? Are the spell slots used until the things take place? Or um, it just, just says you spell? cast the spell ca- uh, called the contingent spell as part of the casting contingency, uh, expending spell slots for both. Um, and just and then it takes effect when a certain circumstance occurs. Um, so I would read that as you consume the spell slots in that moment. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then and, it it takes place later. Um, because yeah, yeah, you have sense. a uh, you have down two spell slots for an extended period of time. That is a substantially less good spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Um. Well, now everybody knows about this this spell. If you didn't before, now you do. Okay. Uh, also means that a lot of people probably don't get to play higher level wizards because <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's a thing. I don't play high level characters all that often. Like end of end of sentence. I I don't mm-hmm. I don't get to play high level characters much. Um, I, I would say average for me it's like nine and lower. Um, I think one time I got to do a fifteen. I don't know if I've ever gotten to do twenty, but uh, I might have. But like, uh, a lot of times it's nine or lower for me. Okay. Uh, hit, me, hit me. Never have I ever played an evil character. Oh, I have. That was my first uh, campaign, was an evil campaign. And uh, I was the only one that gave them motivations, and he was lawful evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was definitely a edgy wife and child were lost, and he's going to uh, – kill his way to earn enough money so he could enact revenge and he doesn't want to kill children or anything like that you know there's rules mm. to this right. but i mean he's going to do what he has to type right. of thing uh and i gave him but i gave him rules everybody else is just chaotic murder gremlins unfortunately uh they're, they're gonna kill uh kill and do and burn and explode whatever they want but uh yeah i have technically played a, a an evil character myself I think lawful can be really fun. Lawful evil can be very, very good. Um, I have had evil characters in games, um, but I tend to um, discourage it um, just because especially if unless you're in my experience, unless you're playing an evil campaign, having yeah. evil characters and good characters in the same party ends up just making inner party conflict that usually is so hard. Useful. Um, so unless you're, unless you're building on that intentionally, I, I just, I don't enjoy it. Um, I don't enjoy playing an evil character unless it was like an all evil campaign where we were like we're we're playing was, yeah. villains. I could, I could get behind that, but I feel like for the most part, um, if I'm playing a character, I'm like, I want, I want to be a hero. I want to be, I want to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Um, and we're selfish, just normal, selfish. Yeah. Like, I've played, Oh, I've played neutral gold, characters. We want I've played gold, neutral money characters. and, and yeah, power, sure. but like, we're not trying to kill people. You know what I mean? We want gold, money and power, but we're not trying to kill people. Like, you know, that's, that's not crazy. That's not evil. You know, but you know, if it's just like we're gonna just we're gonna watch the world burn and sip our sip our mai tais as we do it, <laughs> the most evil of drinks. Um, I am a GM, so I have ran a lot of evil NPCs. Um, but that does not uh, does not apply here. Um, well, 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 Junie, the tides I see are turning. You are currently yeah. losing, my friend. How are those seven pages treating you? Uh, I'm going to stop holding back. (laughs) (laughs) Start picking the ones I know. (laughs) Just three right in a row now. Never have I ever. (laughs) Oh, how Uh, are the turntables? Killed a party. No, I have once. Uh, Okay. Okay. Uh, Oh, I've done that. Uh, Hmm. I have done this. Hmm. Okay. Um, never have I ever used a mimic disguised as something other than, and I say this like very, this, this might be one of those, uh, mm, that's a, up for interpretation. 
normal object like a chair, desk, box, like, you know, something real weird, a door I've seen, but something where it's just like, yeah, I had a fork. You know what I mean? One of those like, oh, damn, I never thought about making oh, okay. that a mimic type of mimic where it's just like yeah. I've never used one that wasn't clearly a chair, a no, piece of furniture that'll that's get normal. Me. That'll get me. Um, I ran, I ran a adventure, uh, where a tavern appeared overnight somewhere. Um, and the party went out to investigate it and found out that the, uh, whole tavern was what I called a mimic hive mother. Um, and every single show you item, this thing I wrote, every I wrote single thing in the tavern is a mimic. The, every chair, every table, every tankard, everything is a mimic. I have something similar I need to show you because I totally have something similar, but it, has it, to do with it was Korean. it was a lot of fun. Um, mine has to do with the Korean pop band BTS. <laughs> the uh, uh, in the fight with it, the floor in the center of the um, in like the inside of the tem- uh, uh, tavern, um, the whole floor opened up like a mouth. Um, and tendril pseudopods were just shooting out of the uh, tavern and pulling people in. Um, it was very, very good. Um, <laughs> Davy Jones says, I've always wanted to run a mimic toilet, but haven't ever been able to be so evil. <laughs> the, 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 most evil po- the, the most evil mimic I've ever heard Aside from your ball pit mimic, you did that. Oh, one, right? I do love the ball pit mimic. Yeah, yeah. that that sounds you, pretty rough. That, I, that was targeted. You knew about yeah. the ball pit mimic. This was a targeted question. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That, that totally qualifies. That's not fair. Totally qualifies. I forgot, I forgot the ball pit mimic. I forgot the ball pit mimic. No, I because I would question. lose. I would lose for the tavern either way. Even okay. if I hadn't um, done the ball pit, I've done so but, much with mimics. But, I've had a but, mimic that was disguised as a person. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I had I, the one the I think in my opinion the most evil mimic that I've ever heard of that a friend told me and he's like yo do this it was like it was a potion bottle and then the stopper has like a little you know like um certain like uh, sports drinks bottles they have like the little tin like the little piece of plastic that holds the, mm-hmm. the top pl- yeah. place so you take the topper off but it's still hanging on there and then when you go to drink the potion the tendrils come out and it's a potion mimic mm, that's very good. Um, right. the, I, uh, the, the most horrifying one to me was besides the ball pit mimic, the ball pit mimic is my favorite. Um, the, the worst one for me was, uh, somebody talked about how in like, according to the rules, um, when you are dead, you cease to become a character, a, a, a person, a living wow. creature, and you become mm-hmm. an object. Um, mm-hmm. a dead body is considered an object. Um, oh a mimic can assume the form of any object, um, mm. which means that you can have a mimic that takes the form of a, a dead body. Um, and so the party was in a dungeon um, and they were like going through and they found a, a body laying there with like arrows sticking out of them and stuff like that. And they're like, OK, well, clearly there's like an arrow trap here. We're going to be careful, but we want to search the body. Um, and they go over and start like searching the body. And as they do, it just immediately like sticks to them and sucks their hands in. And then the whole, like the whole body sits up and the mimic mouth like opens on it and engulfs the person and then is like puppeting their body at the other people. Um, it was that's horrifying. That's how that should go. Cause I was about to say, I was like, oh man that's just a zombie or like oh man that's just like a doppelganger Mm -hmm. but no if it's just if it can only do the body like Mm -hmm. the corpse that's that's good because yeah that like people are going to be enticed to like i want to loot so they're going to try to loot Mm -hmm. the thing and it's a it's a trap so that's putting traps on dead bodies is so much fun if you are yeah. if you are building a dungeon, put a trap on a dead body. Um, I had a I, I, one of my favorite um, little one shot dungeons uh, is called the Mines of Madness, um, and in there there's a halfling body that has a uh, a leather bag like hanging off of them, and the the leather has like rotted, and if you take the bag, the bottom just falls open, and the potions that were in there fall and shatter on the floor. Um, and mm-hmm. one of them is a potion that just immediately turns into this horrible, like acid cloud. Um, oh, God. and, uh, it's like, it's a thrown thing. Like it's meant to be thrown like a grenade yeah. and it shatters and turns into this thing. Um, but <laughs> when it just drops and shatters on the floor, 
it just turns into this horrible acid cloud surrounding the person that looted the body. Um, it's so good. Oh, man. Uh, um, you know, real quick. Uh, yeah. I want to keep going with this. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. So do you want to like do our news report real quick? You want to do the Ranger report and actually keep going? Yeah, we can. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the Ranger um, report before we forget. We have to we have to finish it. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, that's, so continue for part two after the Ranger Report. Welcome to the Ranger Report, where we bring you all that good news and things that we're tracking. Uh, Junie, hit us with the weather. So, the things have been on the uptick as far as the weather. We've uh, gone through uh, a lot of wacky situations. It's sunny now. Unfortunately, there has been some sort of thin let's just say ozone layer spell that has been cast uh, over uh, much of the surrounding area that has been uh, filtering out uh, different uh, light waves. So everything is sepia colored in some places and we will find that depending on cloud coverage or time of day, whatever color the world is at the moment kind of flavors everybody's emotions. And we've had mm. something similar to this where cloud cover made a lot of people sad, but this is more of like, not just emotions. Uh, it will change everybody's mannerisms and such. So you might find that everybody's talking with a bit of a drawl when everything's sepia colored <laughs> and have a little bit of a different swagger on there. Oh, and if things man. are really gray, they might talk like this and they might uh, be, Hey, 23 could do with it. Um, hey there, kid. And, yeah. And um, if everything is, um, uh, what are we going to say? Like, uh, like uh, I'm trying to think of another color that is another very stereotypical thing. If everything is like a pink color, everybody might like talk like this and you know everything might get a little bit more uh everybody want to go on shopping trips and such. incredible uh but yeah there is a bit of a kaleidoscope uh genre bending uh weather phenomena that is currently being investigated by authorities we don't know if this is natural and or um being uh propagated by some sort of weather wizard but yeah. um the, we the weather is applying TikTok video and voice filters uh Correct. to everybody <laughs> Use that in your game, folks. That's for you. Incredible. Um, in local news, uh, there have been uh, so many murders recently. An absurd number. A number that could only be ascertained if you had higher mathematical learning. Um, so many people have been killed by the Algebra Strangler, uh, who, uh, their motto is learn math or die. Um, <laughs> learn addition or be subtracted is the motto here. Um, if you are out in the streets after dark, make sure that you know how to do basic algebraic formulas. Um, Junie, who's our, who's our sponsor this week? As always, the Ranger Report is brought to you by Not Your Grandmom's Bags, a totally real thing that you can look up. You say that uh, every time, and every time it sounds the, less real. I understand that, but it's totally real. It is a and real I want thing. People to people. not think it's 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 a bit. It's a real thing. NotYourGrandmom'sBags.com. They have. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Bags, I'm sorry. Coats, no, no in, interrupting. Interrupting. Um, I'm changing the name of the math murderer. Um, because uh -huh. I just thought of it and it needs to be said, uh, he's the mathemortician. Mm. That's good. Thank you. I'm very proud of it. Say, Continue your say, ad. I was going to say algebraic assassin. That's also uh, very good. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, but not your grandmom's bags.com. Uh, you can go, they have, uh, these, uh, awesome bags, uh, that are done in a whole bunch of different fandom fabrics and stuff like that. Uh, you can get totes and uh backpacks and uh bandanas for your pets and such but the hand the handbags the clutches they're so perfectly sized for dice they are if you are good. like me yeah. and just randomly have a whole bunch of dice just lying around and you'd rather have some sort of cool thing that shows off what you're into to store them all uh go to not your grandmom's bags.com use waffles at checkout and get 15 percent off uh your order uh and it lets them know we sent you there uh, let them know we sent you there. Uh, but yeah, uh, you, and, and they take requests too. So if you're like, I want specifically this type of thing, I want it to look like this, go for it. I'm trying to get them to make uh, little tiny dice bags and sell them in bulk because why not? But uh, yeah, they have I want, a lot I want of cool a bag stuff. that holds a bunch of smaller bags of dice 
So you just open it up and it's like that episode of SpongeBob where he's selling chocolate and he's got yes. like the chocolate bar warmer inside of the chocolate bar warmer warmer and it just keeps mm -hmm. getting more and mm -hmm. more bags. I want to show up to game night with just a like laptop sleeve under my arm and then open it up and it's just filled with like two smaller bags and just keep going down until it's mm -hmm. just a very, very tiny bag for mini sets of dice. Yes. 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 Correct. Uh, but uh, go check them out. Uh, the tangential terror somebody wrote for the the math. Oh, that's very good. Uh, but yeah, so that that's it for me, Hunter. You want to switch it back? Yeah. Where's my buttons? There we go. Push them. I fixed it. You did it. I believed in you. Um. Okay. My dog is losing his mind right now. Oh, um, good. I'm not crazy. I was just like, I don't know if Hunter has a dog, but I hear a dog. Yeah, he's losing his mind right now. Um, let's see. Was it your turn or was it my turn? Uh, who has? Who's losing? Um, we are oh, tied right now. Yeah. Oh crap. Okay. Uh, I went, and you went. Somebody in the hit, chat. Uh, I think the mimic. Help. I think the mimic. I think the mimic, mimic was mimic last was thing. last. Yeah. Uh, so, so that was that guy. was yours. Yep. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Um, I never have I ever, I uh, TPK to party and started over like TP TPK to party and everyone makes new characters. I don't know if this counts. I want to say that I've never done this as well, mm -hmm. but I did for a group of my friends that, uh, they were kind of newer. Mm -hmm. uh to kind of really hammer in how how final things can be mm -hmm. i had everybody i had a group of like six people come in with two characters thinking oh we don't know which one we're gonna pick yet right and then when we started the the adventure i was like yeah all 12 of you were here oh and then, so you started with two characters each and then, and then, uh, it was like it was the adventure at the beginning of Curse of Strahd, where it's Death like House. it's called Death House. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the way I spun it was like they go into the foyer, and then the floor just goes out of like, mm -hmm. like disappears from underneath them, and they all fall into a void. And then I look at all of them, and I go, "You wake up, you wake up, you." And I say, "Which one of their characters wakes up?" Mm. And then, I, and and then, and then that's it. Okay. So they only got to pick one of their two. And then for the for the big ending, the climactic finale, uh, there's a thing where shadows come out, yeah. like uh, for in the, my game. And then I had the shadows turn into oh, the party the ones that fall. died. And, and then I said, "Can all of you please hand me those character sheets?" And then I used and then you their use them. Oh, them. that's so that's I brutal. killed them. They yeah. used one of their characters, but we didn't restart because we right. started with them. Yeah. So I would, I've never I would say that had doesn't that, that doesn't count. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what I mean, they they've had they died and kept going. So yes, but it wasn't a restart with fresh characters. It was that I've TPK'd one party, but they we just fell off after that. It was run for. I even offered them like a devil deal to like, hey, there's somebody, there's a there's a god that you didn't realize was a god that was into you, and there's like, oh, you're that's no fun. <laughs> like, let's see if we can make a deal, and they they didn't jump on it. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Nope. Okay. You're right. up. Uh, I don't know why this one feels like. I don't know if I, this is insulting. I don't know if you've done it or could do it. Not not that you couldn't do it. I know one thousand percent you could do it, but I don't know if you've done it for the sake of like ease. Mm -hmm. I've never had a character who speaks exclusively in rhyming couplets. <laughs> never have I ever. Um, okay i was like you've run enough games so i was just yeah. like they probably had some sort of rumple still skin ask that's thing wild. where i was just yeah. like this is this is one of the things where it's possible like you know everybody's got like mm -hmm. got like a, a kooky tan like jokey jester type of character mm -hmm. but i was just like he might have done this but it's just weird enough where he might not have so this is this is a uh, maybe i got him, maybe i'm not I'm, I'm, I'm using i'm using some of these other ones that i have here <laughs> I know Ooh. you've done this one. I don't know. I don't know why I know you've done this one, but I feel like you've done this one. Um, let's see here. Um, never have I ever. Hmm. 
never have I ever had a player um, who played a... Huh. Never have I ever had a player who played in Loxodon. I don't think. I can't hmm. think of any. I have. Uh, the the majority of them have become. Uh, I have a lot of pre main characters, mm -hmm. uh, and one of them is called just flat out Nature Elephant. And it's, Ooh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about pre-mades. I do have a pre-made for one of my one-shots with the locks on, so somebody has probably played it. Yeah, uh, but I feel like I've seen someone do it otherwise, too. So if, even if I didn't give them it, I feel like they would have. Uh, uh, like I've, I think I have had something. Like that. I won't give you the strike then for that one, because I definitely, like, there's probably been somebody who has played it. Um, okay. I just didn't think about the, like, my one-shots and stuff. I was, like, running through my campaigns in my head. Um, but I didn't think about the one shots. All right. Damn it. This is, this <laughs> I'm, is running, one that, I'm running low. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why this one, but never have I ever. <laughs> I don't know why I think you've done this. <laughs> never have I ever had a city that is floating in the clouds. Damn it. Yeah, I have. I can do it. I was like, I floating cities and shit. Like, you know, I feel like this is, I feel like he's probably done this. Yeah. I think this is something that's been done. Yeah, that's that's fair. I have. I have had multiple. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh never have I ever. Uh never have I ever had a <laughs> never have I ever had a group of players that used a bowl of commanding water elementals. Mm, I've never had that. Okay. The only I've reason I thought of it is things, I but... I have a I have a group that had one for a very very long time and they never used it and then they gave it to somebody. <laughs> That's funny. Um okay, your turn. Okay. Uh This could be this could be the end. Okay. Uh all right, I'm trying to be fair here. I'm trying to be fair. There's a lot of things that I'm like I know I can punch you with this. <laughs> um I I do, 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 do. No, no, I've had that. I was about to say like this one's common, but that's not even fair. Uh never have I ever um You know something yeah, so this is going to be a kill shot. Because like, I feel like this is very common. <laughs> I think it's very common, and I've never had it, and it always bugs the shit out of me. Uh -huh. Never have I ever, and I tell people to do this. I give them the options to do this. Uh -huh. Never have I ever had somebody with the fine familiar spell mm -hmm. actually cast touch spells through the familiar. Everybody just wants an animal buddy, but nobody ever thinks about the whole you can cast like shocking grasp or cure wounds or uh mending or mm. something else through the little guy. And yeah, now I know I'm thinking about I I'm know like, you have can. I ever done it? But I'm like, I don't know if I've ever had somebody do it, and I constantly tell them they can or yeah. give them the options, and I'm like Um You have like a Dave, taser Davey, frog, you know. Davy Jones, if you're in the chat. Have you cast touch spells with your familiar? You're the only one I can think of of my group that would have done that. If you haven't, I don't think I have. Interesting. I thought that I thought that was a that was one where it was like so common, but this it is, it is it's it's one of those things where like I've done touch spells with a familiar for my characters. Mm -hmm. But I've never had a player that did. That's it. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like no, that's true. Yes, uh, he did in the Snake Temple. So yeah, uh, yeah. That that is uh, that is me. Um, I am done. I uh, well done, sir. Uh, would you like to rattle off just like? 
three of your favorites off of the uh off of the list. Here's here's what we're oh. gonna do because we are at time. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. rattle off three of your favorite things from your seven pages of content. Um, mm-hmm. but rattle them off as calls to action. So it's not never oh. have I ever. It's this week do this thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. So uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we we this has been a lot of fun. Uh, uh, we've been Warlocks and Waffles. You can join us uh, all the, uh, all the Mondays and Fridays at eight a.m. Eastern uh, on Twitch uh, mm-hmm. Warlocks and Waffles for right now. Maybe it'll be different in the future. I don't know. We're talking things, and, and we such. we will be we will be back on Monday uh, at eight a.m. But we will we're potentially not going to be here uh, next Friday. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, or next Monday because I will be at PAX. PAX. Um, there, or I can do a thing and talk on talk about how I wish I was at PAX. Uh, <laughs> Just do two I, episodes I if I, I want to be there. If if um, I I have I should I make executive decisions on the show that Hunter brought me on to? No, no I shouldn't. <laughs> but I, here I did live. Um, yeah, uh, we live and in podcast form. There is there down. is the potential that we will still do it. Um, but mm-hmm. uh, there's also the potential that we will not be able to. We'll see. We'll figure yes. out yeah. how how yes. that'll end up working. Um, yeah. but hopefully, uh, we will be able to do some sort of content. If not, uh, the uh, not not next Friday, but the following one when we are back. Um, I will have like uh stuff to talk about with PAX. Um, or maybe we'll do like a, a special like midweek episode or something like that when I get back from PAX. Um, we'll figure it out and we'll keep you posted. Uh, okay. Any, so everybody, uh, last 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 thing. Um, the uh, let's see here. Um, here is uh, what's what's the command? Take my money in chat. Uh, that is the Kickstarter for uh, um, for Little Game Masters. If you haven't checked them out yet, go check them out. It's so good. Um, they are currently at uh, $28,583 raised. Nice. Um, which means that we are less than uh let's see here no we just hit uh we've we've already hit the deck of magic items game expansion uh which is going to be a deck of magic item cards made by gem hammer and sons uh which is so much fun um also gem hammer and sons if you're listening uh this seems like a great opportunity to make a weapon called like the warlock's waffle iron or something like that um just just throwing it out there um and then uh at the next stretch goal which is 35k which we're uh like under 10k away from at this point um 35k uh devin from start playing and from total party chill uh is also going to be writing a uh an adventure so that will be very very cool um and for anybody who hasn't taken a look at it uh, the, uh, at the 75 K tier, if we hit that 75 K tier, that is the last stretch goal. Uh, there is an adventure written by B Dave Walters, um, which is a huge deal, mm-hmm. um, and oh, yeah. will be incredible. So, uh, go check that out. Um, the, uh, it is such a cool project. I'm so excited to be working on it. Um, and my stretch goal is already hit. So I guess I theoretically could stop promoting it, but I'm not going to because it's no, dope. No. Um, we, we want uh, we want as many things. people to do this yeah uh, um, if you have kids if you know kids that are in your family if you if are you aware that kids, kids exist if you're aware um, that kids exist support <laughs> if you do this you support the children that's yeah that's if you don't if I'm you don't, don't back this children, project but, you hate children um, uh, i didn't say it hunter said it <laughs> i didn't say that you know i mean, he said uh, no um, but in all honesty if you if you can support it go support it um if not share it out so that other people can see it um because it is it is very very cool um randall has made a a a very fun world for uh for this game and i'm very excited to be working on it um judy give Mm -hmm. us those three what are 